Hello, I'm Patricia. Welcome to my channel, which is about twin flames. How are you? I want to talk to you about bad dreams, weird dreams, intense pressures, and what you need to do about it. First of all, big shout out to my host at Aura Holistic and Wellness for hosting my in-person twin flame group last Wednesday, sorry, Thursday. Yeah. There's more coming up around Chicagoland. So let's get into this. What is going on? Well, as you know, we're in this month of love. Love is very pushy. It's very insistent. It is impervious, right? But, you know, it's going to keep on pushing you. It's pushy, pushy, pushy. But it's not the same as having a human being stalking someone. That's not what this is about. This is about pushing and awakening the people that need further awakening or they need to get out of that old level of the astral plane. A lot of people have belief systems that somehow their twin isn't alive or their twin died or this happens a lot. If their twin is doing drugs, opioids, um, things to get them high, they're like tripping. They're tripping in the astral plane. And it's time for people to get out of it. So this energy is intense. It's causing a lot of very weird dreams for people. Weird, but not necessarily like morbid but not really friendly it's really really weird and the way to do this is get people out of your way learn to use your body to stop interference of other people because the collective is going through things another telltale sign is tiredness yeah you're sleeping but you still feel tired it's a little bit different. It's not kind of like that deep level fatigue, but you sleep and you wake up tired. That's because you're busy, 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 and you may not recall some of it. But how do you refresh yourself so that the tiredness goes away for your waking hours? I know how to help you with that. In fact, I'm running a class. We have one tomorrow and the next two Sundays to help people with their love connections. The other thing you can feel is headaches or head pressure, sometimes feeling like something's pushing you down or holding you in place. You can feel it across the bridge of your nose here. Like some, there's some, I remember it feeling like there's an iron band across here or an iron band across my chest. You can feel that there's a lot of achiness in your shoulders. And he has nothing to do with what you ate. It has to do with leaving the old level. And especially leaving a certain dream time level, imaginary time level. Those kind of imaginations were, you know, I remember I was walking in a mall and I heard these two little girls, teenagers saying, oh my God, he smiled at me. Oh my God, you think he likes me? And right away I could sort of sense she was seeing like white picket fences already like maybe we're gonna get together we'll go to dances we're gonna go out he's my boyfriend he'll become my husband and it just like went off into outer space right a lot of people do we do have that part of ourselves it's an imagination but the old levels of it are insufficient for where your soul wants to take you a lot of these sensations are soul driven, but they can be mitigated by developing your brand new light body. I got asked a question on Thursday night. What is the difference between the old body and the new body? The old body was for you as an individual before you ever found out you were a twin flame. The new light body is for fitting back into each other, bigger, higher, deeper, more passionately, passion, passion, passion people want real passion not that like garbage that you know people know is a false seduction by now okay that stuff just fades away the other thing with the weird dream is there's intense pushes um to get you to do something what are what is it getting you to do 
Believe it or not, a lot of people, as they leave the old level, their exes will reach out to them. This ex reaches out. Ignore your exes. They're an ex for a reason. Ignore them. Focus on you. Focus on where you're going. Pay no attention to the other children on the playground. Focus here. The focus needs to be a body focus. And this year really is about awakening. Do you feel like you're attached to someone who has some bad habits or addictions? And I'm not talking about a soulmate, because if you got a soulmate that's doing that, you're just getting a mirror of what's really going on on the other side of your other half. They could have had it in the past. They could have had it in a past life. And now it needs healing. And you got to participate with that. And you're going, oh my gosh, how did the, hang on, hang on, pump the brakes. I'm here to help with that. I am here because I know it and I know exactly what you need to do in order to clip that off and separate the icky stuff from your real connections. Real, real stuff, genuine things, things that really work for your life. Okay. A lot of people still like to separate that. They're like, well, I did this and this and this, and then there's my life, which is full of drudgery and boredom, and it's another day to get up, and I'm so tired. I'm tired. I don't know what I'm tired of. It's just the beginning of the year, but I'm tired. Yeah, and if you don't address it, there's another big event that's going to happen in April, and people really will be. I will explain one more thing that makes people tired. You're feeling the collective. All of this fighting and warring that's going on, I don't care who's doing it. They're repeating a lot of ancient history, but it makes all of us tired. It either puts people on guard or you're connected to it energetically somehow, or it's just very old and worn out and it is tired. Fighting in personal relationships will make you tired. Okay. Now you may not be fighting with anyone or feel like you have conflicts going on. And another thing I need to tell you, you can't be zen about everything. You have to take action, real action. You can't be like, well, I suppose that was supposed to happen. And there's a reason for everything in the universe. Now, sometimes the reason is just karma. People are repeating the crap, the duality, because that's all they know. They haven't risen to a level and they haven't awakened. So you're going to see it, but you're the one who has to understand some of it is caused by negligence, tempers, emotional dysregulation, people that are just jerks or a-holes, okay? Let's face facts here, okay? The fact is not everyone on the planet may do this in their lifetime. Do you want to do it in your lifetime and be rid of it? Do you want to rise to a level where those things that are happening are not affecting you? You and the one you love and the ones you love, your family, your kids. That is the experience that I give people when they work with me with their light body. They start rising up and they really begin to see the difference. Check it out. Check the links below. If you need help on your journey, please have one-on-one -on -one session with me or join our groups or contact us. The information is below, and I hope you have a good day. Bye.